Hello. <laughs> ah, okay. I am going to try to do something which is um, tag the people that um, have asked me to tag them. So I'm going to put them in the comments right now. So bear with me a moment to see if I can do it. But it's not working. Okay. Hold on. I'll find another way. <laughs> I know this is not the best way to start a video, but um, apparently I can't tag you. So hopefully, because you've either liked the, um, the, the post I put on... Um, on the event on my page um, because you either have um, <clears throat> also uh, said that you were going to attend I'll just trust that everything will be fine and uh, right now I'm still figuring out um, how it works anyway welcome <laughs> welcome to this um, live video thank you for being here or thank you even for um, watching later. So um, my name is Pelagia Paish. I am an intu intuitive healer and an artist. And um, today I said I was going to uh, talk about the process of unfolding. And for me to talk about that process of unfolding, I am going to first um, just do a little summary of what's been happening in my life because it's this unfolding is happening in my life right now and some of you are new to my page so I want to um, um, introduce what's been happening in the recent years and then I'm going to go and explore a little bit uh, what's been unfolding in my life. So for the ones that have heard, be patient. <laughs> so I'm, So back in the end of 2016, I decided to quit my job. I've been doing it for nine years, uh, or working for nine years in the same place, the same job for six years, and um, I wasn't happy. <laughs> I just wasn't happy. It wasn't satisfying me, and something deep inside me, the th well, first the thought of maybe I could, maybe I could um, live my life doing healing. That thought came into my mind, and it just took over, took over, and I. I, I made some calculations and it seemed possible and all of a sudden the possibility of uh, quitting was so big that I had to make that decision. It felt that, that I had no other option at the time. I had also received a taste of the possibilities of what it would be like to, for me to do the thing I love. In some days of my life I really felt that very deeply. So. I decided to do that. And then uh, last year, in 2017, I decided that um, because London was very expensive, I would go to a place where it would be cheaper to live. So I went to Thailand for eight months. <laughs> I've already spoken a bit about it in other videos before, in other lives, that it was an interesting time. It was, um, I feel like I freed myself from a lot of limiting beliefs, and but I had to dive deep into areas of my life that were very unpleasant. There was loneliness, there was feeling low and depressed in a tropical island. <laughs> that happens. Um, there was, um, yeah, it was challenging. But closer to the end, I started feeling a lot of things opening. My heart opening, I started feeling what it felt like to have this joy and to, and to feel a little bit more myself. And that is nice, that feels really nice. And then I was back, into, back to London in mid-November. The first couple of weeks it felt like, wow, it's like everything is old but new at the same time and I was like super engaged and curious and um, and um, what happened then is um, I started feeling, because the city has this very strong energy, I started feeling fear of going back to my old self because obviously being in the city that I've been living for 15 years back there it was lots of things were triggering me. I was staying in the place that I used to live. So I was like feeling a lot of fear that because I could see reactions, my old self reactions to things um, that you do when you live in a big city and you're not collect, connected to self. And so that was that. Then I'm looking down because I've got some notes. So <laughs> 
then there was um, there was this sense of not knowing who I was in London because somehow at the end of my stay in Thailand I was really connected to this sense of self, this freedom that I felt um, being there and all of a sudden I was back in London, I was confronted by my old way of being and um, still with with things, you know, with my new self here, like, and who was going to, you know, who was I? Who am I? Like, mm -hmm. and um, I was feeling the pull of the big city, like energy. And the city, the London energy, London's energy is all about work, work, work. You must work, you must work hard, you must play hard. I connect less to that one. <laughs> but the work, like, I felt like all of a sudden I had to do stuff. I had to be really... Um, I had to be doing things, I had to be being active, and there was no resting. What do you mean resting? Uh, you know, s creating from uh, stillness. No, no, that doesn't happen in London. In London, you need to be doing stuff. <laughs> so I felt that, and I felt lost a few times. I went into these places of not knowing what was happening, what was the right decision, what was I supposed to do, where have I, you know, doubting myself a lot. And there's all, there was also the realization, especially when I came over in January. Um, hi, Louisa, you're still in time. <laughs> so I came to the realization that um, I was starting my life from scratch. I had no longer my, my cocoon of a lovely flat that I used to. I let it go at the beginning of 2017. I had no income coming in. There was like uh, no, how can I say, um, like I, I was used to living a life where the money would come in every month and all of a sudden there wasn't any of that. I had very little money. I still have very little money at the moment. And, um, and, and yeah, and, and nowhere to live. But I, I felt and I still feel that my life is, belongs in London. So that was how it felt, especially in January. And so I started to feel more, I started noticing the contrast between the old self and the new self. I started noticing that I have choices. I can, I can pay attention to me going on the street and the old London self would look down and not engage with anyone and really sometimes going shopping and it's like you're in another world. You're not even present to the person that's right in front of you that's serving you. Um, and so I started noticing that sometimes I do that and then I just stop myself and I make the conscious decision to come back to self, be present for everything that I was doing there and slow down. I, I, I made a conscious decision to slow down um, my pace in the city because that's it. You, you, I can be taken away with it and just like, oh yeah, I have to rush everywhere. Like, no, no, it's just like you can still be sl <laughs> slow down in the city. So I had this contrast between the old and the new. I'm still right in the middle of all this. Right now I'm not in London, I'm just outside London. And um, it feels good, because, but, but I am like isolated, so I'm isolated from friends. Yet it feels good because I have been, ha been able to, to have so much clarity about what I do, <laughs> so many new ideas. And this is like what really put the impetus on today's uh, live blog post. Um, so what has been, you know, so I, although I'm in the middle of all this process, this unfolding of my being, I um, feel different. I feel different from how I used to be and I can see it. I can feel it. I can sense it. So I have moments of spontaneous joy in situations that I'd never expect to be joyful. I was going to the post office with a whole lot of parcels. It was raining hard. Like it, feel, it felt like all of a sudden, the minute I decided to go out of the house, it was raining really hard. I had this umbrella. I was trying to hold on to the umbrella. And I was just laughing because, you know, it was not important. It was just a moment. And um, somehow it, it brought joy into me. So I like um, watching and observing these uh, things in me. Uh, <laughs> And, and what I feel is that I feel more connected to myself. I feel that the moment I made the decision that even though people around me are saying some things, maybe you should do this, maybe you should do that, I am going to, I'm connecting to my heart. I am really feeling into what feels the right decision for me, what feels the right thing to do. And every time that I do that, I feel good, I feel happy, I have a lot of... Um, stuff coming and you know inspiration and the minute that i start doubting and being guided by either what other people do or others other others energies 
everything goes chaotic. So I'm noticing that. So I'm taking, I'm taking that into account. So I'm allowing myself to be my true self, whatever that is. So what, whatever that is, I know a bit of what that is. Um, there is kindness in me. There is strength <laughs> in me. Uh, there is beauty. And I'm allowing those things. I'm not, you know, I still judge them. I'm still like, I'm still, I still fear being judged for my choices. And today I was like super nervous about doing this talk because what I'm going to say next is like very new to me. And um, it's new to saying this in this public domain because <laughs> I've said it to others and people that are close to me, I've, I've spoken about this. But to, to say it here, it feels like um, it's a big step for me. <laughs> anyway, so can you see the process of unfolding? Can you, can you see how, like I can see how my whole life, if I see it from a distance, if I see like um, at this timeline of my life, everything makes sense. I'm here for a reason. I'm in this place, in this house for this amount of time for a specific reason. So I can see how... There's more to unfold, there's more to come. Like it feels like um just before I was this very tight either bud or like this like piece of cloth that is very so tightly kind of folded in its in itself and and all of a sudden I'm like the either the petals are opening or the bits of, of cloth are, are, are just opening and um it feels good. <laughs> it feels good. So how is this related to what I do? Um, so very recently I got inspiration to offer some, um, new sessions, Well, then were they new? I don't know how to call them some sessions and, um, <laughs> bear with me. <laughs> I do know how to call them, but I was inspired to, to do some sessions and I didn't do anything about it until very recently. And last week I, I started offering, um, offering them over the phone which is, um, is something I've done before, but now I started doing it very differently. I had some friends who helped me kind of, uh, who were great, uh, you know, and, and, and were, were open to do the sessions with me. So that was great. I got to, to, to really experiment. And then, you know, something happens, something happens in those sessions. And that's what I want to talk about. I want to talk about this, um, what I do and actually the clarity about what I do only came last weekend. <laughs> I, you know what, I've been following my intuition now for some time. I've been like really just um, experimenting in different ways of doing the healing, different touch, uh, questions, different, you know, imagining, all sorts of different things. And, um, and all of a sudden I just like, and actually, I had a friend asking me, what exactly are you doing in this session? What did you do? How do you have access to this information? And then that really like brought focus into uh, and, and it really just like and I had read something in a book just recently, everything just like the pieces of the puzzle just all fit, fit. So what happens? Like, I believe first that we're all connected and I've said this many times before we're all connected like I can imagine all ways like I used to imagine that we're all connected by little strings in between us like everyone in the world is connected to that and so connected to each other through these like little strings I used to say that the strings would be different colors depending on the relationship that we had but we're all connected and then as the same way that we're all connected to each other we're connected to this higher I'm going to call it consciousness. I really like that, that name, this higher consciousness. And I imagine it being a net around the world. This is my imagination. <laughs> and we're all like connected to it. And it's got all the information about my life, my thoughts, your life, your thoughts, your experiences, everything that's going around the world. Everything goes into this massive bit of, you know, uh, space of information. This is my interpretation. And please bear in mind that uh, this is like my very own, how can I say, realization. And I'm, maybe there, there's other words and there's nothing new in what I'm saying because lots of people just either call it the same or different words. It's just that for me, it was a big deal to realize this. To, to realize this. Um, and so what happens when I go into a session, and in particular, these new sessions that I'm doing, they're over the phone. And I've done them now with people in the United States, in Canada, here in the UK, in Thailand. And <clears throat> so what, 
well, the first thing I want to say is like, what sort of intentions do I set for these sessions? So I set the intention that, the intention that for whatever happens in the session is for your highest and best. I create a, say, a, spa a uh, sorry. <laughs> I create a space for, of non-judgment, confidentiality, a safe, loving and accepting space. I connect to your energy, I set that intention, and at the end, I also set the intention to disconnect. It's important that we disconnect at the end. That anything that comes up is related to you and any sensations in my body are also related to you. So I'm guided by thoughts, ideas, images that come in my head, sometimes things that I sense, but I've created this um, intention that during the session, when I connect to you, they're no longer mine, they're to do with you. And I, I trust and I'm guided by that. Um, and I'm, I trust also that you have all the answers. I am not in any way giving you, I'm just guiding. I'm just there to, to guide you through it. And you know the answers. And I may ask questions or I may say a word and everything just starts from there. I witness what's happening. I open new doors. I guide you. And I, most of all, I am present throughout the whole session. And the other thing is that we only work in what you are ready. All the information that I gather is information that's being given to me by your higher self through this consciousness. <laughs> that's my theory. <laughs> that's what it feels like at the moment. And so whatever you're ready to deal with, that's what we'll deal. And, um, and if it, it can be, you know, when, when, we, when we start, I very soon, well, as I intend to connect with your energy, I very soon s go straight, straight into the pain point, often, depending on how ready you are, depending on the type of person you are. But we, straight away, I go into what's bothering you. What do, you know, either it can be a sensation, a heaviness in the chest, it could be like uh, anger, it could be that I kind of imagine something or I just ask a question I ask a question and that just really opens something it's like you have a box that is ready to be open in that moment and I very gently <laughs> very gently open it for you and show you how what's inside <laughs> and that's when when the process of unfolding starts happening we're going to kind of open that box or open those layers and we're going to see what that idea, belief, experience, memory, what does it mean for you? What is it giving you? What, you know, we're going to unpack it, that box. And um, it can be uncomfortable. You're going to deal with some things that you probably had a, a massive fear of dealing by yourself. And somehow through the space that I create, you feel safe and you're ready. You're just ready. <laughs> So um, it's, still, it's still uncomfortable. So you may feel these emotions very strongly. You may have emotional release. You may have memories. But I trust that they're all the memories, they're all the ideas, they're all the emotional release that you are ready for. Nothing is going to be brought forward that you aren't ready to deal with. Um, and then, like... I, you know, and I'm, I'm there, I'm there, I'm present, even though sometimes I'm miles and miles away, people feel my energy incredibly close. And I, I've been getting feedback from all the people that I've been doing and, and uh, it's, it's amazing, uh, some of the stuff that people feel, and especially at the end when their discon the disconnection happens, they realize that, oh, there was something there, I could feel it, you know, I might not have felt it at the beginning, Someone described it as going into this um, uh, uh, bath-like water and the temperature being just the same temperature as your body, so you don't really notice, but when there's the disconnection, you notice the lack of. The lack of. So um, I invite you to disconnect with me at the end so that, that, that there isn't that massive impact. Uh, I find it's important that we obviously go into our own energies. It's, it's an important process, step of the process. Um, so what, you know, what we go into is often that we explore what's behind the pain, the memory, the, uh, every, you know, whatever we're dealing with. There is like um, often darkness and fear, 
you feel you get to feel like a, you, it's like a journey. We get to go into like a darker, a darker space within you or a perceived darker space. And um, we look at, behind it. We look what what's 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 there for you. And there's always like a sort of a gift. There's always some knowing, some finding out where that it came from. It's like sometimes it's like fe believing that there's a massive monster inside in the darkness. And then we look at it. It's just a tiny little kitten <laughs> and uh, that kitten has a lot to give you and you just we go there and we we find out what what are the things that are important for you to know um in this moment in your life so what i also uh you know if, if we look at the session overall i i provide you an experience of contrast we go through the harder kind of fear shadow darkness that moments and we come out and we put light into it and show you what what's the message behind all you know those events memories things you know things in your life or way of fe feeling in your life right now and so at the end a lot of the feedback is that you experience relief you experience joy peace a lot of peace calmness and, and love and um and yeah, and it's just like, um, it feels very special. And every time I finish a session, I feel very honored for the trust that people have been putting in me, for uh, allowing me to, to go on that journey with them, to hold their hand, but at the same time, not allowing them not to see what they need to see. I, I, so there's kindness, but I also f make sure that the mirror is there, that they do get to see what they need to see because... Um, it's what they're there for. It's why they've gotten in touch with me. <laughs> you know, that's that's what I'm supposed to do. And um, and reiterating again that the answers to all these things will be find, found by you. They're already in you. I'm just helping you remember. I'm helping you connect to that part of you that already knows all of this. And you just forget. Um, so, what's happening? Because I want to keep this like short, not, not enormously long. So what I'm offering, I'm offering at the moment, and I'll put it in the link below, a free 30 minute session with me over the phone. Um, the session is worth 45 pounds. Um, we, we kind of go for 45 minutes. It's um, a little check in at the beginning. We do 30 minute session and then a check out at the end. And believe me, in 30 minutes, a lot can happen. <laughs> so I'm offering this free session for the rest of the month of February. I'll be putting a, a Calendly link on my comments at the end so that you can book your own session yourself. And um, my normal sessions are 90 minutes. So it's 60 minutes for the healing itself. And then the, the half hour is like 15 minutes before and at the end, depending, maybe less where again, we just check in, we just see where we are in that moment, and then we see how you feel at the end. We basically just make sure that, uh, you know, that you feel okay, and that there's been like, um, there's a, there's, there feels a natural closing of, of, the, of the healing session. So, um, the, what, the new thing also that I'm offering with these free 30 minute sessions, I have three kind of uh, topics that I'm interested in working with and offering to people. One of them is called anxiety relief. The other one is called clarity and empowerment. And the third one is healing the past. So when you book your session, you'll be asked which one you want to deal with. And it could be anything else apart from that. The other day I had romantic love. So um, people have asked me to help them find out what, what they're supposed to do with their life. And uh, uh, others have um, asked, uh, to, to have clarity in their business. Like they, they don't know, like I was there also recently, like they don't know what they're doing. They're offering so much stuff and they don't know. So, so um, they're asking for clarity in what their offering is to the world. And uh, looking at themselves also and finding out um, what are the blocks, what are the things that are in the way for them to be their better selves. So I want to support the feminine, not just women, the feminine. I want to, um, the feminine is on the rise, we all keep saying that, but my work is really to just explore that <laughs> and help people um, 
unfold, unfold and, and step up and um, make, ma be bolder, make bigger steps and, uh, in their lives because we're all impacting in the world right now. All the work that we do on ourselves, all the realizations that I do on me, I trust that the whole world is benefiting from it. There's ripples, there's a ripple effect that my realizations, my awareness, my awakening is for the benefit of others. The same for you. All your behaviors, all your realizations, all the healing that happens with you has repercussions to everyone around you and then it just keeps on rippling out. So I would like to, um, if you would like to work with me for like on a deeper level after you've done the three minute session or even if you just want to go dive right in, please get in touch. I'm very much interested. There's like a specific um, session that I've been inspired to do. These are all like inspired moments, <laughs> inspired ideas. Is There's one that is five sessions and it's, um, it's about emotions. And I want to, to seek and explore four emotions, anxiety, sadness, anger, and shame. And then the fifth session is like a, um, how can I say, a looking over all that happened and a processing it and just, just making all the pieces fit. Um, the, that session, I have these bundles that I'm also offering. They're not on the website yet, but that particular one is going to cost 333 pounds to do, so five sessions. The 60 minute session, the 90 minute sessions normally cost uh, in person 95 pounds and over the phone 75 pounds. So you'll see that there is um, a good discount there. But um, if you're not ready to go that to that step, I'm offering these three sessions. Uh, that we can do or I, we can just, you know, I can create a bundle, a specific bundle for whatever your um, situation is. But the three sessions I'm offering at £165, which is a, an incredible deal. So you can do the free session and then maybe um, want, you, want, you might want to work with me and um, explore a little bit more. Uh, what else? <laughs> I, I, I need to finish, I think. I wanted to keep it under 30 minutes. Um, so what I would like to say is that um, also at the end of my of each healing that I do, and sometimes I forget to say it out loud, but um, my intention is there for every single healing and also all of the healing that happens to me. I have an intention. And normally at the end of the sessions, I say out loud, may this healing be sent to all beings and the planet. If you are a healer and you're watching me, if you are not a healer, and you're just like a person that's doing a lot of work on yourself, I would encourage you to set that intention on a daily basis. Because I believe that uh, the more of us that set that intention, the, the, the quicker the world is going to heal. So I'm going to leave you with that. <laughs> I'm sending you a lot of love. There's a, something else that I, I'm starting to say also that really feels good because that's what I want for me. So may you be happy. May you be free. May you be your true self. Thank you so much for watching, for coming over. I will be adding the um, sometimes on the um, on the um, blurb so that you can see if you can't if you don't want to watch the whole thing, you can watch some certain parts of it. So sending you lots of love and hoping to connect with you soon. Bye bye.